Hello everybody. Ho, ho, ho. It is the season. This is Life with Hope. So I was talking to some co-workers recently and we were all just kind of on the same topic of why are the holidays so stressful? Like why do they have to be that way? And my thought is, is there more ways that we can make it more fun and exciting and enjoyable and something to look forward to and not just stress of like, I need to get this done. I have all these people I need to buy presents for. I have to get them the perfect gift. Um, everything's costing too much money. All this stuff that's going on in our brains. And I want to kind of talk to you about some situations that I have learned that have helped me that I have practiced and I have lived by and have worked and then some other things that I am like learning along the way as well so let's say for instance first and foremost is it like the gifts um buying presents for people um I have always been prone to just saving that for the absolute last minute so this year I decided let's get her done, let's go, let's even before Black Friday shopping because um, there's so many sales that are going on even beforehand nowadays. So um, just a little tip or side note with that, but getting all that done like before even like Thanksgiving time if you can, Oh my gosh, it is so nice to just like knock that off your plate and because not only are you like getting these gifts and things out of the way that you won't have to worry about in December, but you're also paying for things and using that finan that financial burden, if you want to call it, that is kind of taken care of sooner. So if you are working during the holidays and no matter what your profession may be, maybe you are making more money during the holiday season, then that way you can actually make it back. So it's kind of a win-win in that scenario where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm already done with all my shopping, already paid for all this now, like all this like money that I'm making is actually real income and I don't have to worry about buying more things. So that's a huge plus, that's a huge win. Um, and another thing is like, as far as, um, this is where I am learning stuff along the way. So first one I lived and I did and I'm, going through it and it's been great getting all the gifts done. But now with the second thing that I'm thinking about is when it comes to um, like get togethers and gatherings and stuff with like friends, or, you know, the infamous friends miss we call it, is that is something I think would be very valuable and helpful to plan definitely in advance. So now we're in it, we're in December. For some of us, it might be a little too late. We might have to think about this for next year's plans. Um, others, you never know. Maybe your schedule's wide open and you still have the time. But what I have come to notice is with some of my friends, we are trying to figure out everyone's schedules and everyone has such different lives and it's so hard to get everybody together and to find a day and a time where we're like, okay, let's do this. Let's have our friends miss. So if we could backtrack and look at that for next year and like pick a date months in advance so it's like on all of our calendars and being mindful that people aren't having to take off extra time off work and things like that but if it's doable to move it around where only like one or two people have to make some adjustments then i feel like that's as close to a win-win-win as you can get um so that's something that i've noticed because we're in the works of that and we have we have picked our day and everything but um it's just so such a matter of like oh my gosh like okay i'm working this day oh no i have this family thing this day or blah blah so it's just really hard to kind of work out everyone's schedule so if that is something that you can map out and book way in advance highly recommend because i'm going to give that a whirl for next year um definitely and then um another thing is just like making sure you carry on your own traditions or make new tr new traditions um, that you have always wanted to do or you've always wanted to implement with your, um, for me, my new spouse this year. But we have always um, done, what's it called? It's in um, Dana Point. They put up all the lights and everything in the harbor area and they call it... Um, 
it's like this little sign that says Mary kiss me. So that's like one of our, tra tra I almost said transitions, tra <laughs> one of our traditions um, that we do every year. Um, I don't know how much he looks forward to it, but I really look forward to it and I have so much fun with it because as you can see, I love dressing up obnoxious and ridiculous and just having fun with the holidays. Um, so yeah, carrying on those traditions or making new ones. I think that's a huge thing to just have something again to like look forward to. So definitely gonna keep on doing that. And just like as far as the stress goes, being able to find time for yourself and if you have gotten like those gifts and those other things like out of the way, then you know like you've built extra time now to get your self care, get some relaxing done and just like enjoy and take it all in. Um, I think that's super important because it is the holidays, they, they can be mentally draining and exhausting and it's a lot. But I want there to be ways where we can look forward to it and be excited about it, not just like, oh, I have to do this. I want it to be something where you reword it into, I get to do this. I'm able to do this. I am excited to do this. So that's what I think it is. And same with like other stuff you may be doing for those social gatherings like get togethers with friends, family, say you're in charge of having to make a certain dish. And what I've seemed to notice is a lot of like friends around me are trying new dishes that they've like never actually made before. I think I might even try that myself. But the thing is, is to have like a backup plan. Like don't, don't make yourself so overworked and so overwhelmed by trying to make something brand new from scratch or whatever it is that you're following a recipe and you're just like, oh, I forgot this ingredient or, oh no, I messed this up. I did this instead. Instead of just like freaking out and being like, oh my gosh, the dish is ruined. Have something back, like a bag of salad or like a bag of like fruit or something that you don't have to make and you don't have to put all this time and energy and effort into. And you're just like, you know what? That one, that didn't work out. I tried it, but instead here's what I'm bringing. And stuff. So don't have to like fully commit in being like, I'm going to do this. I have to do this. That's literally how I laid it out to my friends. I was like, I'm going to try to make this new apple crisp thing that I've never done before. But if it fails, I'm going to bring some cookies that I don't have to do anything and I just have to put them in the oven. So that's my game plan. So having that kind of stuff like mapped out in your head, like not everything's going to go perfect and according to plan, but just being ready and able to adapt and adjust to anything that could potentially go wrong. So that I think is important and just more fun stuff, like stuff that you've been looking forward to doing, whether it's like going to see some certain play or going out to see these pretty lights and like Christmas lights in different neighborhoods or whatever, like getting that on your schedule and like mapping that out and whoever you're doing that with, whether it's your friend or your significant other and stuff and just making that plan together and being like, this is something I really want to do and I want to do this during the holidays because this is the only time we get to. This is the only time all those lights and everything are going to be up. So making sure that you are like open and you speak your mind about that stuff because um, it's super important. So, and I think this is also a really special month and challenging month for me because it's my birthday this month and it just falls right in the middle of December. So it's just a little tough sometimes because everybody's busy, everybody's doing things and stuff. So I'm just trying to be like as realistic as possible and just like you know what? we're gonna do this easy peasy if you can show up great if you can't that's okay too you know just want to see the people i love and do something fun and that's it just keep it simple you know it doesn't have to be this overload and this stress constantly like we gotta we gotta find the light and we gotta make it fun and you know what, this is why I wore this to be in spirit because I love looking and dressing goofy. It's just so much fun. So 
be silly, be a kid during the holidays. Like, remember when we were kids and we all believed in Santa and the world just seemed so perfect and you couldn't be harmed and everything was great. Let's just try to like dive into our, like our kid mode again and just have a good time. So that's my spiel that I have for you guys today is make the holidays something to look forward to and not something to stress over. I'm not saying that you're not gonna have a little stress here and there. Sometimes that stuff is inevitable, but try to course correct and find the alternatives and do things that make you happy. Laugh, love, live, just do it. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Life With Hope. Ho, 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 I'm a little cheese ball. <laughs> okay, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.